I'm feeling great. This should be one of the best series we have here in the group stage. And from two teams that maybe not so much for G2 IG, definitely for Falcons, uh, mm -hmm. is to be expected. I think G2 IG has just shown us that they have really risen above in these roster shots for Malarine with a value point in the chain. On the Boca, bottom lane, gonna be saved right now by JT. A snaking, the one to give away first one, and now the bash is coming out. JT, how lucky can we get? Give it a crack, JT. One more? No. He won't fight. Sometimes the gods are in your favor, sometimes they aren't. Jonathan, and oh, nothing to say. He kind of just walked into Malreen and... Concerning for the Shaker. Lane, there is a rotation coming in from Crit. Nothing to say, already dropping low. There goes the tanking from Malreen, just taking all the tier one tower hits as Crit moves in. With the toss out of Malreen, able to secure another great kill onto nothing to say. This time around though, it seems as though Falcons have read the movement, so they will back off. They have nothing to say mid lane. Has he read this move? Pass back from Crit once again into the timber. The blood grenade also gonna land. And now with the chain forward, nothing to say. He'll survive a little bit longer. May hoping for a level six timing, but not gonna find it yet. As the chase is on, they'll even get a silence out from Snake King. Or not as it should be. Yeah, he also chooses here that can hold solo as they jump mid. Absolutely. Crits in again. They won't find the kill though this time around as Baboka barely survives. Nothing to say he's going to go for a bit of chase. He's got the Echo Slam available now. Snake King gets caught out and there's your Echo committed. Nothing to say. Not wasting any time. But now the turnaround. Maureen. Oh. He'll find nothing to say, but it does cost his own life. Crit in the meantime also getting charged by JT. So you're going to find a third target. JT finds a good angle here. It would be a, a massive kill for G2 IG to find. JT just needs the vision for the charge. It seems like he's got the information. Meanwhile, top lane, X Nova does get caught. Skidder has also been caught out there by the looks of it. A Skidder dropping low does go down. That's a fantastic trade for G2 IG. A good fight just yet to transition into a tier two push. X Nova gets jumped by Crip, but he has plenty of help around the corner. This could be a team fight. The G2 IG wants to take. There's nothing to say. Jumps in. Crip is blown up immediately. Maureen is getting very, very low. He does need to retreat, but Manet is not leaving a B. Manet continuing the chase, but the Doom is out. Still, Maureen is gone as JT does get the charge off. Now ATF copping the Nether Strike. He needs his own way out, but the bash comes just in case he needed it. No, they definitely want. Uh, the Falcon vision is still mainly aggressive, not defensive for farm. Oh. Uh, they do try for the Tormentor, and well, Snaking this time around is it our happens. victim. It does happen. Skidder, though. Oh, Skidder's a much bigger deal. Oh. Nothing to say. Oh, oh, we can smell him. We can find an opening. They, they've got the output with Molly now. Got a lane. Who have they got? Oh, they found Monet. That is huge by Falcons. Monet just farming underneath an Observer Ward of the Radiant as JT now charges in. Should be okay to back his way out. The crit is still chasing him down, but does think better off. He'll go after X Nova instead. Avalanche tossed up. Nothing to say. Gonna oh. jump in and help out. Taking down crit and now the Soulbind. Locking two of them together. X Nova dropping low, but Baboka trying to heal him up, but it's not gonna be enough. X Nova is gone. Zyg, they still want to go for the fight. The charge is in from JT, but here comes ATF, and here comes the Eclipse of Skidder. But where's the detection? The Glimmer Cape, it just saves JT. He'll walk out for now as Malreen, he's gone too deep. Cool. Nothing to say will punish. At top flank, top right flank. Oh, Echo committed. Oh. They have found Snaking, Snaking, he is down, and Malreen. Maureen not looking too healthy either, but he will be able to walk away for now. They'll make the jump in onto ATF. ATF, he is down. Two gone for Falcons. They will buy back on Snaking, but not quite on the Doom yet. They are giving farm priority over to ATF as mid lane. JT, he does get caught out with a great avalanche toss, but JT gets the BKB off in time, and now the hand of God is on, and now the Echo! Oh, nothing to say! What a setup! Oh my. Snaking and Maureen are both gone! That, again, not the ideal. Like, ATF somehow managed to do JT while he was charging. That's, that's not the targeting more. Oh, JT? JT does die in the fountain, sure. You see, he does get caught initially. Just so much committed onto the SB and nothing to say. More than happy to jump in as here we go again. Mid lane, who have they got? X Nova is gone. There goes your Aegis onto Manet as well. So that's one life gone. There's now nothing to say. Dropping Ooh. low, loses his own life. Manet needs to run. It's a 2v5 situation and it is not in the favor of G2IG. Just trying to set up the map for when that Roshan is back up. 
and now they've got the better position as Roshan oh, is on a spawning. X Nova, X Nova does get caught, and they've got committed somehow still making it up for now as JT. He charges right in. The Spirit Break. What a giga chat. He'll cough the term, but he's just TPing out. JT, he's fine. Mane, he's the one to jump back in. Crit is gone. Maureen, he's not looking safe either. But he will chain away for now, still making it, and barely does escape. But you've lost the support duo. Falcon, they can buy back on Snaking. They can knock on Crit. And Roshan, it is up in 10 seconds. Force a fight. That's some really quick reflexes on Falcons to break up that initiation, but... They're not right in. They don't even want to wait for the secondary Echo Slam. They're just jumping right in immediately Ooh. as Crit is down. That's a great start. The Crit does have buyback this time as Maori. He'll blink it. Chaining right back out there. Chipping away at the Morphling. G2YG, no fear in the world. They'll move in again. There's nothing to say. Look at the jump in. The Fisher, oh. the refresh. The four-man echo out from NTS. Just locking them all down. Falcons, they'll buy back again. All five heroes up. G2YG, do they want to keep this going? It seems like the answer is yes. They will get the bottom racks. Monet, he'll move right into the mid, mid racks. Now Rain, he's gonna try and stop the mid from going down, but he cannot deal with Mane. It's that they'll throw the tomb out onto the Morphling. But Mane, E2IG, looking for that opening. Nothing to say, he does successfully get onto the high ground. Falcons have no idea. And the Echo Slam, SPS! Oh. You monster! Oh, I can't believe it. He just sneaks right from the backside. And they just melt. The buybacks are coming, but does it even matter? No. It doesn't seem like it. Nothing to say. He doesn't need to say anything this game, John. He showed everything. Skitter still trying to fight, just getting annihilated. So nothing to say now getting tossed back. Maybe they can fight this one out. They've lost the Earthshaker, but Manet's the big problem now. He's the one you've got to deal with is Manet. Takes down three, will retreat. A triple kill for the Morphling. And GD is called. They've seen enough. That's it. Game number one to go the way of G2 IG. And my good, uh, this mid Earthshaker, you cannot give NTS this hero, John. I mean, NTS, I'm not sure what happened. He, he joined G2 IG. I'm not sure what they've done to the lad, but he's woken up, Jonathan. He wants some revenge or something. He looks like a monster. Every single slam was massive. All the movement coming out.